Hello everyone. So today's stream we're gonna try a new soap. I'm really really excited about this one uh, because it was my wife's uh, birthday present for me. Uh, so we're gonna try and it's the Ayrton Silla by Pinnacle Grooming. Um, the homage they did to him. Uh, now Ayrton Senna, for those that don't know me, was one of my idols when I was growing up. And um, I actually, when he died, I stopped watching F1 because for me it didn't feel the same until a couple of years ago when I got back into it again. Uh, but uh, I'm really, really excited. I didn't open yet. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. So we're just going to load up the blade and get everything ready and then I'll open it. I'm really, really excited about this one, guys. Um, now, we're going to use the Parker Semi Slant. Because Ayrton Senna was a smooth driver, although really fast, it was a really smooth driver. And we're gonna load up with the feather blade, because it's a Japanese blade. And uh, Ayrton Senna it was idolized as well in Japan, for those that don't know. Um, because he used to drive a McLaren, but with an on, on the engine so the Japanese just loved him at that time so that's the reason I chose the feather and because it's a really sharp blade as well like Ayrton was a, sh a really sharp uh, driver so everything here kind of has a, a meaning behind the, the, the soap in Ayrton Senna itself so that's why we're gonna use the feather that's why I'm going to use the Semi Slant by Parker. Um, I'm going to prepare. We'll just put some water in the face there. Just to get ready for the pre-shave. We'll use the Master Mickey. Pre-shave soap, hard soap. Now, it's going to be my first time trying Pinnacle Grooming. I heard really good things about them, so I can't wait to try it as well. And uh, my wife was the one that got the soap, but I, I kind of got in touch with them afterwards. I did um, a reel on Instagram opening their box. And they're really, really approachable, I have to say. Really nice guys to deal with. And they did a solid for me as well. They gave me some extra stuff that we weren't expecting as their birthday present as well. So I have to give a shout out to them as well about that. They didn't ask for it. I just I just want to do it. I think they deserved. Especially when they do something like that, like you know. But the the, the wet shaving community has this these things tends to be really really nice. So let's go, let's open up this. And I love, one thing I love about them, I have to say about Pinnacle Grooming, their labeling is just lovely. I actually sent them a message and I told them that. I love their labels. I love that artwork on it. It's just really, really good. And, and their shiny um, label there as well. Ooh, wow. Strong, really strong. Now guys, um, I don't know if they put it on the back, they don't. Okay, I have to do research myself afterwards, they probably will have it on site. Uh, I didn't want to research, as I told you. First time use, I don't like to research, I don't like to know what it is on, on it. Really nice, I have to say. If, if I go by what it's here on the puck, mmm, nice. Kind of like a midi key. Oh. <laughs> I'm really excited. We'll use um this is gonna be my first use of this brush, not this knot. This knot I have another one with this knot. This is the uh, G5 knot by Frank Shave Shaving, sorry. Uh, and uh, I just got this a couple of weeks ago by Frank Shave, and I'm gonna try it today. So I'll just put it here on some hot water there a bit, and we're gonna start load up. I washed it already twice as well, like I like to do with my brushes. Here we go. There's some water there. Let's load up. 
Yeah, I can say straight away that it's loading up the brush quick. I didn't bloom as you guys saw. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say this looks like a really complicated scent. But it's kind of like a cologne kind of scent. cologne kind of scent. Um, really manly, I have to say. Strong. And I love strong scents. So probably this should be enough. We'll just have to put some water. I'm gonna do this, take the extra there. We're gonna leave it down there. I'll, I'll wash it afterwards. Oh, and I'm drying up the alum treatment. So, put some water again. There we go. And let's start. Load really sleek. I can see it in my hands already. Yeah, pretty sleek, I have to say. Yeah, still dry. So that means I'll need. Oh, yeah. This is a really manly scent. I'm, 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 guys, I don't know exactly what's in this scent at all. So, what I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I still can't identify anything. At all. But it's a really strong scent. Really manly, and it kind of kind of reminds me of um, old cologne kind of scents. They were really really strong and um, and manly. One thing is for sure, I wouldn't see any woman using this kind of scent at all. But I would say they probably will love it. I'm gonna ask my wife afterwards, and I'll let you know next time I use it. Because definitely I'll use, I'll do the second one. And then I'll say all the scent notes and all that stuff. And all. Yeah. Really, really strong, I have to say. Put a bit more water. Yeah, and you can take loads of water, actually. As you guys can see. Nice. But a bit more. Look at this. Loads of water there. Loads of leather coming out. Nice. Does it have tobacco? That's one of the scents that I've kind of felt there, but I'm not sure, completely sure. My mind might be playing tricks on me. Tobacco, maybe. I'd say probably musk as well. But I do feel a bit of tobacco there. That's, But I'm, I'm not sure, guys. I didn't do any my investigation. My nose might be playing tricks on me. Lovely. Yeah, lovely and strong scent. I'd say we're ready for the first pass. Really, really nice. Really excited about this one. Let's go. First pass. Uh, Parker semi slant with a feather blade with the grain. They actually Parker actually came out with a, a new three piece uh, hat. Because most of their three piece razors were all the same head, just the handle would change. So I might have to get that one as well just to check. Oh, really, really, really slick. So, yeah, nice. Really nice. Like, the artisans that I've tried, I had one on top, 
This is on par with it. Easily enough. On par with it, definitely. So, my top brands are growing. Really nice, I have to say. This shirt, uh, this by, by the way, I forgot to say, is the third use feather, and it's still really sharp. No tugging at all. Still sharp, not as sharp as the first use. The first use tends to be a bit more on the harsher side, and it gets a bit smoother the second and third pass. I would say I probably could do a third, uh, fourth, uh, fourth um, use with this blade, but I normally tend to use it just three times, every single blade. It's just a few that I, I can't use the second time at all. There's one in particular that comes to mind. There we go, that I can't use the more than once. The Black Beauties. If you guys know which are the Black Beauties, the three carbon, those ones I can't use more than once. They are nice for the first shave and that's it. The other thing about these parkers is the noise feedback is just lovely. I haven't gotten a razor that is as loud as the Parkers yet. I have some loud ones, but not as loud as the Parkers. All of them, all the ones I've tried, really loud. Yeah, I still can feel that hint of tobacco there. I think I'm right on that one. But there's more stuff, way more stuff there that I can't identify, but it's a lovely, lovely, lovely scent, guys. It's a really manly scent, guys. Well, let's get it ready for the second pass. There we go. Really, really slick. I still had loads of soap there. I actually forgot to leave the leave there for you guys to see. Nah, it's not gonna work this way. For a change, I have to start leaving it there so that I don't forget. But um, it still had loads of soap there. It took me a while to take it off. So really nice. Definitely can take a lot of water. Let's go back to the brush. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of old EDTs, old perfumes. Really strong, manly perfumes. I don't know why, that's, that's what comes into mind at the moment. Really, really slick soap as well. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can actually grasp the shininess of the leather on the camera. Really shiny. Really creamy. This is definitely on top there with the, my best soaps. Without a shadow of a doubt. I can't wait to see how it goes on the post-shave feeling, which for me it's 
what actually makes the biggest difference in terms of soaps. So let's get second pass on the way. Go across. But in terms of sleekness, protection, up there, really up there, matte face, yeah, really sleek like. You gotta buff up, yeah, easy enough to buff, look, that's how sleek it is, if I keep going like this, there's still soap there. There's some bristles there, stuck on the razor, it's a brand new brush, so that tends to happen, it's actually my first use of this brush, I have to say, I used it for washing basically, not... Not the go. Yeah, I can't even stretch the skin. Where's the alum? Here. I'm gonna open my alum. See if I can stretch the skin a bit. Yeah, there we go. Really, really slick, guys. I have to say. Got the other side there now. Cross. They're based in England, by the way. Just forgetting to say. Now, I actually don't know if it's Liverpool or Manchester. I was actually talking with um, a podcaster by the name of Displexic. Oh, I always forget his name. But it's one of the podcasts that I here all the time it's on spotify wet, wet shaving podcast i'm actually gonna leave the link below i don't want to i'm terrible with names sometimes guys so and if i don't have any anything written which i normally don't unless it's um, a sub that asks for something in particular i normally don't write anything i just like to go with the flow especially the first times I use something, so mad face here, and then I don't want to butcher anyone's name, and I'm sorry, Dix, this, sorry, D-Y-S, dyslexic shaver, I'm sorry, I'm butchering you guys, really nice guy, you, should, you guys should go and hear his podcast, there's some really nice podcasts there, with some big names from the wet shaving community. There we go, stretch. There's the alum. There we go. I have some leaks there, but especially with a feather light, that area where I normally have always a bit of bumps there, I tend to always get one or two nicks, which doesn't bother me at all because I know the alum will take care of it. And I'll be brand new in a, an hour, sometimes less. And as I normally say, if I was using a cartridge razor, I would have that and more. Yeah, uh, small nick there. I'll have that, I would have irritation, be all red, I hate shaving. At least now I'm enjoying my shaves. 
There's a bit of overhanging guys, so careful around the nose. Say so we're done. Plenty of sleepness. A small bit there. So you can buff away, no bother. That's it. I'd say we're done. I'm gonna get ready for the arm. Let me check the time. Yeah, it's a bit long, so. I'll see you after the oven treatment for the post shave and my thoughts. See you in a bit guys. We're back. So I did my oven treatment. I had loads of feedback around here and here in particular. But I didn't know why. Because I found it strange. But then I remember early in the morning I woke up and I was kind of itchy there. But if you guys can see I was beaten. Probably by a mosquito. I don't know if it shows on camera. But that's the reason I was stinging so much there. Had nothing to do with the shave. So just so you guys can see, I don't know if it's gonna show. There's a bit of a bite there. So that's it. Uh, let's go for the post. Let's see the scent. Mm, it's the same scent as um, you get on the um, when you open first the soap. Mmm, nice, 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 nice. Really manly. Yeah, still stinging there. Yeah, I think I identified two scents anyway, but I'm not sure. One I think is tobacco, and the other one I think is musk. Musk, uh, musk I'm almost sure. Tobacco as well. I think I'm almost sure on those two. Wow, nice. I'm gonna put a bit more. I really enjoy this scent, I have to say. I put it a bit on top there. Hopefully my love will like it too. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's really manly, like it's, um, there's, I don't think there's any kind of floral stuff there at all. I would say it's probably mainly like, probably wools, old, something like that. Because the only ones I kind of think that I identify for me is tobacco and um, musk. The other ones, I don't know, I'd say there's way more here that I'm not being able to actually feel it or identify. But um, that's it. Let's recap our shave for today. Uh, an homage to Ayrton Senna, one of my I idols in the, when I was growing up. Um, F1 driver for those that don't know. Um, and if you don't know, I would advise you to go and see the Senna documentary and um, go on YouTube and check his funeral and you can see how big he was just by the images of his funeral. I, I still remember where I was, I remember everything, I remember seeing the race. I used to be awake all, uh, sometimes, like for example the races in Japan would be really late at night and it would be my, my dad, me and my brother and we would stay up just to watch the race. So we wouldn't miss a race when he was uh, racing. Uh, yeah, talking too much there now. So let's recap. We use for the first time this brush in particular, but I, I've, I've used the, the knot. It's the G5 knot by Frank Shaves and I'm gonna plug my, myself there as well. I'm an affiliate with them. If you want 10% discount with them, just use the code DY10. I'll put it down below the link. Uh, I love this knot, G5 knot. Uh, I can't wait, I have to order the G7, which is their latest. I heard really good things about it. So I have to order their G7 knot as well, just to try it. Because I love this one. It's kind of um, it's soft, but it still has a, a backbone there. So love it. Uh, G5 knot there. Uh, we use the Parker with a feather. Actually, that's I have it there drying, but I'm gonna throw it out. Uh, I normally just use it three times, so feather. 
third use feather um, with the Parker semi slant. I use them in a much dry than sand as well because it's for me it's the sharpest and smoothest combination I have at the moment at the moment. Um, a bit like Ayrton was really sharp and smooth when he wanted to. Uh, we used and I I washed it already there. The Pinnacle Grooming's Ayrton Senna homage. Really nice scent. I think I only identified tobacco and mask there. The, the, the soap is lovely. It's up there on top of the best soaps I've, I've tried. Really, really nice. Plenty of water, plenty of, plen plenty of sleekness. And I had so much on the brush still when I was washing it that I could have done another three, four passes. So, and you guys saw how much I loaded up. I didn't need to load up as much. So next time I, I'll do just a few um, runs of it, not as much as I did. Because uh, I had so much there that I could have built a ladder with. Um, same with the aftershave splash, the same scent as the, as the soap, lovely, really, man, I'm still feeling there, the, 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 I don't know why, the musk and tobacco, I just can, I, I think I'm not wrong on, on that, uh, but that, lovely, lovely, I can't wait to see the reaction of my life there with the, with the scent, um, thanks again to the, the guys in Pinnacle Grooming for the, the present they gave me as well, I'm, I'm not forgetting that either, uh, Lovely, lovely soap, I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this shave. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. It really, really helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.